Hey guys, how's it going tonight? Scary stories here. I found another story for you that I thought might be nice to share. This one comes from an old website I found called Creepy Tales from the Internet. It was originally shared by someone going by the name of Laughing Goblin. It takes place in the middle of the woods with two friends and one of their fathers. Now, I've personally never been too big into camping. I do enjoy it, but you never know what's out there in the middle of the night, so I always get a little freaked out when I start hearing footsteps or crunching leaves, get visions of somebody stalking me or somebody looking around the tent, looking around the campsite. I've probably ruined the whole experience for myself by watching too many horror movies and reading too many creepypastas. But yeah, let's, uh, let's get into the story. I hope you like it. Something walked around the tent all night. Growing up, I had a childhood friend that lived relatively close by. We were like two peas in a pod. We were both adventurous, believed in the paranormal, enjoyed astronomy, and generally just liked being outside. She was born in Alaska, and her dad had lived there for quite a while, so they were both into camping, hiking, fishing, skiing, you name it. It was with my friend's family that I got introduced to fishing, and I did a lot of camping myself. This happened during the mid to late 90s, so we were about 10 to 12 years old. It's been a little while, so I can't remember exactly how old we were. On one camping trip, we went to this lake in the forest that was surrounded by a meadow, and feeding the lake was a small stream leading out to the woods. We played in the meadow and stream all day while my friend's dad fished. The lake wasn't very big, and because it had a meadow all around it, he could keep an eye on us while he did his fishing. While messing around by the stream, the wooded area it was coming from gave me weird vibes. And I can't really explain it, I just got really uneasy. Anyway, the day faded away into the early evening and it was time to leave and find a good camping spot. My friend's dad packed up his fishing gear and we all walked back to his truck on this long, winding path through the woods. Once in the truck, we drove to a more remote area of the forest and made our way up this steep road that was so rough and at such an incline that I was convinced that my friend's dad was gonna break his truck. He had a four, maybe six cylinder Toyota pickup and that was about as basic a truck could get. In fact, I'm not even sure the truck had four-wheel drive, but being an Alaskan outdoorsman with years of experience under his belt, I trusted him. We finally made it up to the top of this monstrous hill, and it actually opened up to a relatively flat area. We pitched our tents, got everything set up, and my friend and I decided to go explore the area. We were maybe 50 yards from the tent when we heard a big crack as a tree branch snapped in the woods behind us. We got quiet and looked in that direction, but we didn't see anything. Thinking it was just a deer, we brushed it off. As we were walking, we heard it again. We whispered to each other about what it could be and when we got about 200 yards from camp, we found a large rock to sit on to catch our breath. Suddenly, we heard another cracking branch from behind. Whatever it was seemed to be following us. Our imaginations were going wild. We came up with everything from a serial killer stalking us to deer or Bigfoot. When we got back to the campsite, we told her dad what we had heard and how it seemed to be following us. He kind of played it off as if it were a black bear and he secured all the food. 
but later on my friend had confided in me that her dad had gone to have his pistol and would be sleeping with it that night. My friend and I would be sharing one tent, and he was going to be in his own, not far from us, so we figured everything would be okay. I awoke sometime in the middle of the night, hearing something or someone walking outside. As I lay still, I could quietly hear it circling the tent. It sounded like it was walking on two legs because of how distinct the rhythm was in how it walked. Whatever it was, it sounded big, as I could hear the weight, if that makes sense, as it put each foot down and walked. I could even hear relatively quiet, but deep, heavy breathing at times. As I lay there listening, I could hear it wandering to other parts of the campsite, and then back to our tent, almost as if it was walking in big, repetitive loops. This went on for who knows how long but it felt like a lifetime. Terrified and unable to wake my friend, I lay there and listened until I eventually fell asleep. The next morning, I told my friend and her dad about this, but I don't know if they believe me. Interestingly, absolutely nothing in the campsite was disturbed at all. The ground wasn't very soft, and in some places it was covered in grass, so we didn't find any footprints either. This is something that I've never been able to explain, and to this day lingers in the back of my mind when camping. I always wonder what it was that walked around our tent all night. So what do you think? Do you think that they really didn't believe her, or... Do you think it was just her imagination running wild in the middle of the night? Like I said, personally I've been there and I've heard footsteps, I've heard noises in the middle of the night. What would you have done if you were in this situation? Let me know down below, I'd love to, I'd love to hear from you. I, uh, I probably would have done the same thing that she did in the story, just try to be quiet and wait it out. My friend's not waking up, I'm definitely not going to go out there and check by myself. But yeah, anyways, uh, let me know what you think of the story. Let me know what you would have done. If you uh, like what you heard, please feel free to give the video a like. If you really enjoyed it, maybe consider subscribing. And uh, if you really want to help out the channel, if you see one of my videos over in the suggested videos box to the right there. Maybe consider clicking on it and watching. It really helps out the suggestions and the algorithm and all that stuff. Helps get my videos seen by more people, so yeah. You don't have to, no worries, but if you if you do, I really appreciate it. And yeah, I'll uh I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye for now.